Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is the werewolf and welcome to Werewolf at the Movies. It's a good day for riding, so I'm riding my motorcycle again. One day you guys might not see me on it. What is this guy doing? He stopped on the train tracks. What are you, a genius? Jesus Christ man, what are you, a, a banana head? Who's, dr who's driving this rig? Come on, Grandpa, let's roll out here. Welcome to Werewolf at the Movies, where it's all about road rage. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not about road rage, folks. Today I'm going to be reviewing the film... Wait for it. The Rock. That's right, boys and girls, pure action. That's going to be an epic review. First things first, this film has quite the studded sketch. Studded sketch, This film has quite the studded cast. Um, you have the internet's favorite Nicolas Cage. The world is being fenexed to hell on a handcart. I don't know why he's the internet's favorite, but he's a Apparently a pretty big deal on the internet. Well, gosh, kind of a lot's happened since then. Beats me, man. I don't know. I don't know. And there we have the Death Star. Under construction. They're never new. The Death Star. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was stupid. <laughs> it was just a round ball, man. I don't know. Like, what the hell did they do in that? What do they put in that round ball? Can anybody tell me? There's another one being built right beside it. What the hell do they need two round balls for? Uh, where was I? Right, The Rock. So it's, uh, cast members include one Nicholas Coppola, otherwise known as Nicholas Cage. Um, there's Ed Harris, who is himself quite the fantastic actor. Well, I have choked on these lies my entire career. Well, here and now, the lies stop. There is obviously, <laughs> let's not forget, Sean Connery. This is the man with the plan. Actually, I take that back. It's not Sean Connery. It is Sir Sean Connery. Oh, I have a unique knowledge of this prison facility. I was uh, formerly a guest here. Um, for you American folk, um, what happens is with, because uh, we're part of, a, uh, part of a monarchy, we fall under the power of Queen Elizabeth of England, just like Australia and New Zealand and poor sad sacks of Scotland, my brothers, my oppressed brothers from Scotland, you'll get your free independence, it'll, you'll be free. Sorry about that, I, uh, I'm Scottish and I feel, I feel the heartbreaking of my brothers. Um, yeah, that's right. We're all brothers from other mothers, man. Anyways, Sir Sean Connery's in that film. Like I said, man, this, this cast is just, just awesome. And it's, for once, I actually don't mind Nicolas Cage's acting. Because he plays a, uh, for lack of a better word, a goof. He plays a chemical specialist or chemical weapons specialist um, for the FBI and so he is kind of nerdy and kind of geeky so the way that he normally talks which is just like oh, let's roll you know like that fucking it's just exaggerated bullshit that is how his character would probably have sounded if it was a real character um, Sean Connery obviously because he's super badass Personally, I think you're a fucking idiot. Some sniper's gonna get his ass. You're not leaving. Oh. <laughs> Plays a uh, former SAS agent, and he kicks the shit out of everyone. It's awesome. And then you have Ed Harris, who plays a general who's disgruntled with the United States of America, actually more so not the gov uh, United States of America, more like the government of the United States of America. And um, so this road is 
really slow so don't think that I'm a pussy for driving this slow it's just it's as you saw that sign it says that it's radared by cops all the time and it is that's okay it gives me a quieter speech time with you folks so yeah Ed Harris plays a uh, uh, a brigadier general actually in this film and it uh, he takes over Alcatraz which is the rock in San Francisco for all you Americans you probably know that but some people might not know so he takes over their Alcatraz um, actually Alcatraz Island there what are they I'm sure there's a name for it I think it's like it's not Butterfly Island maybe it is Pigeon Island Banana Hammock Banana Hammock Island for all intents and purposes Alcatraz is on Banana Hammock Island Anyways, I am rating this film. Um, I will... Oh, this one's a tough one. Because there's some days when I really like it. And there's some days when I don't. But, well, it's not that I don't. I just like it less. If you didn't already realize, my ratings are a little bit skewed. They don't really matter, folks. My whole goal right now is just to share movies that maybe people have seen and haven't seen in a while or movies that somebody hasn't seen at all you know I just want to share that so I mean the ratings aren't a joke it's just how I feel about the film um, but I mean ultimately you read the read the synopsis online the plot and uh, uh, decide for yourself if you want to check it out but anyways um, I'm gonna rate this film let's see here I will rate this film seven prom queens out of ten. So yes, seven prom queens. Yes, then I didn't mess up. I'm talking prom queens like the chicks who are graduating high school. Your best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. For those of you who haven't seen it, I, uh, I hope you do check it out. It's actually, it's a pretty sweet um, storyline. Like, the plot's pretty rad. The, um, the score is actually incredible. Um, the music for it, for you non-movie buffs. The, uh, the music in it, the score is actually awesome. It's written by um, uh, Hans Zimmer. And he's actually... Well, for being a composer, he's actually extremely young. I think he's probably in his 50s. But he's he's incredible at his craft. And he definitely knows how to build a scene with uh, with, with with music. So um, He uses a lot of darker sounding instruments. So he uses a lot of strings and um, deep drums and um, brass instruments and stuff like that. Just like an orchestra, but he, he tends to stay away from the happier sounding instruments, like the, the lighter sounding ones. But yeah, that's enough uh, classical styled music chat. That's not what we're here for. Um, I urge you to check it out. It's actually a pretty decent film. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, until next time, this has been Werewolf at the movies. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I got a goddamn gun. If I'd have known this was going to happen, I'd have brought my motherfucking gun.